Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading for the full moon this January 2021. For this pick a card reading, the message is going to be what our familiar thinks we need to share, what gifts or skills or talents we have that we can share. So this full moon is in Leo, which I will be talking a bit more about, but because the full moon is in Leo, this is a perfect time to really express our gifts and our talents and show the world who we are and what we have to offer. And our familiar is with us most of the time. They see us at our best, they see us at our worst, and they have unconditional love for us. And they really want to help and support us. So they know what we need to maybe express or show other people so that we can achieve our goals and our desires. If you followed my other pick a card readings, which I do for the new moons and the full moons, then you can kind of follow the story about setting your intentions and manifesting your dream life. This is just the next step in the big process and the big story about manifesting your desires and your goals. So this full moon, we're going to take our familiar's advice and see what they think we need to show the world in order to manifest all of our desires. This pick a card reading is also going to touch on what skills our familiar has to help assist us in manifesting our desires. So what skills or talents our familiar is offering us as assistance. And then we can work from that to figure out how we want to express or show these skills and talents off to the world. So as I mentioned earlier, this full moon is in Leo. Leo is all about self-expression and creativity. Leo can be playful, fun, passionate, and bold. Leo is a very, look at me, I'm the center of attention kind of energy. This full moon can also focus on relationships and romance, so maybe what skills you can bring to other people or to your relationships or what talents or how you can better assist other people with your skills and your talents and what you have to offer in relationships. So this full moon can shed light on all of those type of things. This full moon is all about being expressive getting outside of your shell, which might be outside of your comfort zone, recognizing your gifts, recognizing what you have to offer other people, what makes you valuable, what makes you unique and special, your skills, your talents, claiming that and celebrating that and showing that, being proud of that. Stepping into the light and showing off a little bit, which not everyone is comfortable with doing, but during this full moon, this is the perfect time to do that, to really show what you have to offer and to really just own what you have and what you can offer other people and even yourself. Share your good with the world. Share your personality. Share what makes you, you with the world. Don't hide it in and keep it hidden. Be proud of it. Be proud of who you are and what you have to offer and let everyone else know because what you have and what you have to offer will benefit other people. And just knowing that, accepting that, recognizing that and just letting yourself shine. So that's what this full moon in Leo is all about this January 2021. And I just want to invite you to please like and subscribe to this channel. When I do readings, I tune into my subscribers' energies while I'm shuffling the cards and stuff like that. So th this message will of course work for you if you are not subscribed but just know that I can maybe tune in and connect a little bit better to you and you're familiar if you are subscribed. And I'd also like to invite you to join my Facebook group, Living With Familiars. It's just a really small group right now, but I really see it becoming a place where people can connect and talk, ask questions, post pictures of their familiar, and just really share our love for animals and really learn about how we can work with your familiar. And there's a lot of fun kind of bonus stuff that I post in there and I also announce when these videos go live. So I'll leave the links below for that 
And for this reading, I'm going to be using the Dog and Cat Communication Tarot Deck, which is a tarot deck specifically designed for communicating with animals and dogs and cats. And I'll, if you're interested in finding more about that, I'll leave the link for that below as well. But let's get into the reading. So the message is going to be what your familiar thinks you need to express more, what skills, talents, part of your personality that you need to let shine. Your familiar really knows you well, so they know what maybe you're hiding and what you need to be more confident and let the world see. And this reading is also going to touch on what skill, your unique skill, your own familiar has that can help you or assist you in manifesting your goals and your desires or whatever your intentions were that you set at this previous new moon about two weeks ago. So since this is a pick a card reading, just ground yourself, get in a meditative state. I'm going to shuffle the cards and make three piles, one, two, and three, and pick a number between one and three, and that will be your message. So let's just get into it. What message does your familiar have for you for this full moon? Group one, group two, and group three. Message about your skills and your talent, where to sh shine your light, and what skills and talents is your familiar offering you? Group one, two, and three. Group one, group two, group three, group one, group two, group three. Group one, your cards are the three of bones and the king of hearts. Group one, with your card, the king of hearts, your familiar is really saying that you are a leader, which is really important to take note because this full moon is in the sign of Leo and Leos are leaders. They like to take control and be powerful and be, ch be in charge. So that's really a strength of yours and that's really something that you can step into during this full moon and maybe even for the rest of the year. So what do you want to be a leader in? And a leader is not someone who just takes control and tells everyone what to do. A leader is someone who really inspires people and motivates people and sees a much larger, bigger picture. They see all the little moving parts and figure out how to make people work better together, to really be a team, which is what your other card is about. The Three of Bones is all about teamwork, is all about working together and using people's strengths and weaknesses and coming together and making everything run smoothly, which is what a good leader does. So your familiar is telling you that your familiar is a part of your team and works with you and where you find weakness, your familiar finds strength and feels strong in. So whatever area that you feel you could maybe do better at, maybe you're not the best at communicating or public speaking or being really confident in your voice, your familiar can help you do that. Or if you feel like you are very unorganized and you can't tune in to your emotions and turn inward, your familiar can help do that. Whatever area you feel you need more strength in, you're, you can tune into your familiar's energy to get the strength and to build those skills. So your familiar is on your team and helping you develop areas that you don't feel as strong in. The King of Hearts is also about balance and stability and having emotional security and being emotionally stable. So that might be something that you can express and show to the world or something that you need to work on and your familiar is here to help you with. You'll know if you're 
feel strong in this area or if this is an area that you need to improve in. Your familiar is telling you to lead with compassion and love, be emotionally secure and stable, and really look at who the relationships that you have in your life, the teamworks, the bonds that you can build. Your gift is being able to balance that leadership, so enforcing those rules and setting those boundaries and also doing it in a very compassionate, loving, and gentle way. So you can combine these two energies, which can seem sometimes very opposite, very strict and enforcing rules and being really set with these boundaries, but doing it in a very loving, compassionate, understanding way. That's something that your familiar sees in you and something that your familiar wants to express or own or be confident in and really let others see this side of you or these bo both of these sides. So I hope that was helpful, group one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Group two, your cards are the Hierophant and the Queen of Hearts. Group two, with your cards, your familiar is telling you that you are very emotionally stable and you are able to nurture and care for others and you're able to kind of recognize your own emotions and separate that from the emotions and feelings of someone else. Often people who are very empathetic, they take on other people's emotions and don't really recognize if that's their own emotion or if that's someone else and it can become very heavy and very kind of hard to sort through and know exactly what they are feeling themselves in that moment or they can kind of absorb another's energy. Animals do this quite a bit. They can absorb the energy of their loved ones, of the people that they are around. And your familiar is telling you that you have developed the skill or you are currently developing the skill to be able to be really secure and strong in your own emotions and to be able to see the emotions of others and really be compassionate and empathetic and sympathize with them, but not take on those maybe painful or sad or emotions of other people or other animals and take that on as your own. You're able to keep your own feelings separate from others while still being very compassionate and having empathy and feeling the emotions of others, but knowing that it's not you. And you use this skill to nurture others, or you can use this skill to be very nurturing. And your familiar wants you to really step into this, to use your strength, which is you're very emotionally strong. Use this strength to help others or to just let this part of you shine bright. Maybe not help other people yet, or you're not ready for that yet, but to just own that and be confident in that and know that you can do this and you are powerful and you are capable of doing this and to just be aware of it. To just really be very compassionate and caring for others, which is something that comes very natural to you. And the skill that your familiar is assisting you with or offering to you or providing you with is balance. So they think that maybe to express whatever skills or talents you have, which keeping in mind that has to do with your emotional security and emotional strength and just being aware of your emotions, however that works into your other skills and your other talents, when you express those to remember to be balanced and you're familiar the animals in your life really keep you balanced and they remind you to be balanced. Your familiar is really a teacher for you. They have a lot to show you and that you can learn a lot from them. And whatever it is that you need to learn, this will be different for everyone, but whatever it feel you feel that you can learn from them, which might be to spend more time playing or to spend more time meditating, think of the skills or whatever it is that your familiar naturally does and really enjoy doing. Maybe they're really loving or they're really grateful or they're really confident, whatever 
naturally comes to your familiar. This is something that you can learn from them. So maybe this is a skill or a strength that you don't really have yet and your familiar has this skill or strength really strongly. Maybe they exercise and get outside in nature more and they kind of force you to do that. I know my dogs force me to go on a walk every single day and if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be doing that. And I wouldn't get this grounding energy and I am someone that really needs to ground myself back into my body and connect with nature. I need that and I wouldn't do that without them. So they are keeping me balanced in that way. How is your familiar? How are the animals in your life keeping you balanced? So look at what comes naturally to your animals and know that whatever comes naturally to them, this is helping you stay balanced. And staying balanced will help you express your skills and talents, which also happen to tie into your emotions and your emotional stability and emotional security and being very compassionate and empathetic with others. I hope this was helpful for you, group two, and enjoy this full moon in Leo and really let yourself shine. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Group three, your cards are the nine of paws and the four of hearts. Group three, with your cards, your familiar is saying that your skills and your strength and what you need to let the world see and what you need to express and just own and be confident in is your ability to deal with anything. So the card, the nine of paws, is all about being able to respond to anything that may be stressful or anything that's not that desirable in life with situations that can cause stress or anything that you rather not experience, being able to respond to those events or those, those feelings or whatever it is, to respond to that in a way that is like, let's deal with this, let's figure it out and let's get over it and let's move on from it. Often people can have these stressful events or emotions and kind of just push them down and bury them and not be aware of them or try and hide them. And your familiar is saying, you don't do that. You look at these things in the face, these things that maybe scare you or cause stress or are uncomfortable, the shadows. You look at them and you say, I'm not scared of you. I see you. I feel you, I don't like you, and I am going to figure out how to overcome you, how to get rid of you, how to make myself and my loved ones feel better. You take control, you take charge, you take action. You don't try and hide and cover up and put a band-aid over top of something. You recognize it and you know that you can do something to make yourself and your loved ones feel better. So this is a skill and a strength and a talent that you have that your familiar wants you to step into, to own, to express, to just really be proud of. This is something that you can claim and celebrate and this is a really important skill to have and you're familiar saying you have that celebrate that be happy about that you are someone who is that powerful everyone is that powerful but you already own that power and just let the world know that you are like that and you can do that you can overcome anything and you can figure anything out your familiar is letting you know that they see this in you. And then the other card, the four of hearts, is about being mindful and present and taking the time to rest and not always take action. So these two cards are kind of opposites. And your familiar is saying, that's really great. I want you to let the world know and see this skill that you have and to use this skill to better the lives of the ones you love and of yourself but I also want you to remember to take the time to rest and nurture and care for yourself and just recharge. Take a break, pause, just 
be in the moment for a little bit. Do nothing. Don't be so active and busy all the time. You don't always need to be looking for these things that you want to overcome or trying to figure out how to fix these things. This will already come naturally to you. It already is something that you have you are able to do that you have a talent for you don't need to go looking for things to solve you don't need to go looking for things to fix they will come up on their own and when they do you know how to take appropriate action and you know what to do but in the meantime you don't need to go searching for them your familiar is offering you the ability to just relax and be mindful, be present, be in the moment. Animals are really great at this. They're always in the present. They're not worrying about the future. They don't worry about the past. They know that the past can affect how they are perceiving the present, but they're not fixated on the past. They can really just be mindful in the moment and you're familiar saying, remember to do this and I'm here when you want to do it, tune into my energy, tune into me and rest with me, relax with me. I can help you just take time for yourself, rest, relax, recharge, take some deep breaths with me, tune into me, connect with me and get in this really peaceful, relaxed state. You don't always need to be busy on the go and your familiars giving you that energy to take the time to step back, rest, relax, recharge, be mindful, be present in the moment, enjoy what you have, what you have already accomplished, what you have already gone through, tune, to, tune into your familiar to get in that kind of state. So I hope that was helpful for you, group three. Hope you enjoy this new moon in Leo. Remember to be playful, have fun, be passionate, be all the things Leo brings, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.